Hello and welcome to Sovereign RPG. I am Sovereign. Today we're back talking about Myth of Empires and we have a little bit of an update on the court case. Now remember, if you do enjoy my Myth of Empires content and you like this very beautiful shirt, make sure to throw up a like on the video. If you'd like to see some more Myth of Empires content and some more survival gaming content, throw up a subscribe. And if you'd like to support myself and the channel, we have a link in the description to Patreon. So let's get into the latest counter 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 claim that's come from actual angela game to snail and wildcard now we have some interesting stuff in here there's some stuff that can be seen and taken a multitude of ways so i've had a i've had a conversation with a few different people before i actually threw this video up as soon as i saw what i saw to get some better understanding of what the actual wording means and what it actually means for the game and what could happen in the future with the court case and what could happen for like the actual game coming back onto steam itself now this is from suzu angela online game technology company limited against snail games usa and wildcard properties llc and this is the plaintiffs and counter defendants answer to counter claim and the jury has jury trial is still being demanded now they mounted their first events and they went on to say that defendants stand charged with having knowingly materially misrepresented to third party valve corp that headers presented in exhibit a to a letter dated on december 1st 2021 docket 11 purportedly showed that in hundreds of cases angela copied the same headers and in the same order it is as if two books shared near verbatim tables of contents many pages long now if you remember in a previous video which i'll leave a link for down in the description if you want some context this is the same one where they turned around and said they are thieves they are liars and they know it and they got really dramatic over it it is from that same bit of nom noms that we got before which was actually really hilarious and it's now become a meme on the discord so angela goes on to say that in truth and fact and as illustrated in exhibit one to this article Answer, these defendants literally fabricated artificial non-existent sequences of c++ variable and function name and then willfully misrepresented that fraudulent evidence with manifest intent to mislead and deceive valve and more recently this honorable court trying to get the court on side there defendants counterclaims are barred by the principle that equitable powers can never be exerted in behalf of a litigant who has acted fraudulently or who by deceive or any unfair means has gained an advantage now they're using what they said previously as a sort of technicality with a that sort of in their defense that what they said in those first letters was actually not true fraudulently made and that's their first defense on the fraudulent conduct now the lack of registration which is their second defense and this is where it starts to get a little bit interesting the header text presented in docket 11 does not appear in any material deposited by defendants with the copyright office in support of the applications for registration identified in docket 297 docket 2088 and docket 299 the header text presented in docket 11 is moreover identified as atlas tech atlas is the name of a different video game than arc evolution evolve which is also arc survival evolve i've never seen it called evolution evolve so that's something definitely new to me there defendants to date have presented no credible evidence that the header text misleadingly presented and characterized in docket 11 exists in the work referred to in docket 297 288 and 299 defendants are not entitled to any presumption of copyrightability as to materials they elected not to deposit with the copyright office now this is a defense on the technicality front this is going to be them trying to get the court case thrown out now this could go any of different ways this could get thrown out the judge could get pissed off and see that they're just trying to piss about and mess about and they may not enjoy it and if the case does get thrown out there could be the fact that grape shot could then put up itself because uh, most of the players believe that grape shot and snail and wildcard they're all the same entity and it's been a long time everyone's been talking about that so even if the case does get thrown out because they say it's art code when it's not art code it's atlas code but atlas code is art code and it's a whole massive like explosion of mind fuckery then they could kind of refile the case under atlas instead straight afterwards then it will take even longer and then it will be even further down the rabbit hole and then it could be like it could go anyway this is just what their defense is this isn't what is true this isn't fact this isn't exactly what happened yet we don't know the court will then decide if this has any backing or meaning or whatever now there's a lot of like the nature of dispute allegation where they deny the allegations deny 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 now they do go on to say after the deny the allegations things they admit the defendants of their counsel induced valve to breach his contract with ie on or about december december 4th 2010 which was 12 years ago so that's a bit of a typo there admit that since december 9th 2021 defendants have repeatedly refused to participate in rule 26 conference in this case admit that december 13th 2021 defendants have persistently refused to cooperate in efforts to compare either selected modules or the complete source codes for the allegedly copyrighted work and myth of empires as shown in exhibit 2 
here to and accept as so admitted deny the allegations of paragraph 10 now they're trying to use the actual chain of emails that were sent to uh sent to like the battle eye guy and to steam themselves they're trying to use that against them whether that'll work or not who knows and then this is where the kind of uh excuse my french but the big fuck you comes where they try and basically say well this ain't the us we're in china so basically is what they're saying as far as i can tell and as far as everyone's been speculating in the discord and we do know that we love a bit of speculation in that off-topic channel on the discord number 33 admit that angela is a corporation organized and existing under laws of china having its principal place of business in suzu china and except as so admitted deny the allegations of paragraph 33 and then they admit that ie is a corporation organized and existing under the laws of hong kong having its principal place of business in hong kong china and as expect so admitted deny the allegations of paragraph 34 now who knows how the judge is going to take that considering the judge is from the us and we know that the american people are very fond of their country and their laws and all that good stuff so it might piss the judge off enough just to say yeah well yeah nope but we'll have to see what happens when it comes to january 1st of 2022 this year when the case comes back a thing and it's just further on down the line deny the allegations deny the allegations personal jurisdiction with respect to defendants purported counterclaim deny 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 and it's all the way down across the board now this information is fairly interesting because you do have to sort of understand that they're trying to mount their defense or their attack depend because they are the plaintiffs uh, snail games and wildcard are the defendant on technicality and this could either sort of blow up in their faces or it could work now if it blows up in their faces this could could be a shitstorm. if it does work there could be the chance that another like grape shot will just throw the case up instead or they did when they turn around and said look defenders are not entitled to any presumption of copyright ability as to materials they elected and deposit within the copyright office so that, i mean that just sounds to me <laughs> it's that sounds like something that you'd have in a stand-up comedy show by a very dry english comedian and i really like i did have a real big laugh when i did read this sentence it does sound like they're kind of rubbing it in a little bit but why don't you let me know down below what you guys think about this whole bit of new information has come up do you think they they're gonna win do you think they're gonna lose i love to hear all different speculation and all the stuff that's going on it's actually really fun this is kind of more fun than playing on the official servers right now so make sure to interact down below remember if you do enjoy myth of empires content throw up a like if you want to see more myth of empires and survival gaming content throw up a subscribe and if you'd like to support myself on the channel we do have a we do have a patreon in the description as well as the membership join button down below i want to thank you all for watching fly safe and avoid local chat scams <laughs>